So this is a quick update today. Uh, I got to do a, a road trip, so I'm going to be gone today. So uh, you're only going to have Ryan and maybe Tim will come here. Maybe Ryan will. I don't know what he's going to do today. Well, I'm going to do one until I leave. Yeah, that's a good idea. But I, after that, then we'll, I'll be shutting her down. I can't. Yes, they I can't, can't do live streams when I'm right, right here. He's the star. Everybody no, knows I'm not the star. the star. You're the star. No, I'm not. Yeah. Okay, so there's a couple of good news. I got some emails. I guess Auto, uh, Auto World got the Star Wars license. So for, they're going to be doing a lot of model kits, Star Wars model kits. Um. Uh, plus they're going to come out with a blues brothers uh, slot car set. So they got the blues brothers. So that means they're going to have the police car and they're going to have the blues brothers car. That'll be a nice set. Okay. Nice uh, shirt, Rye. Uh, what, what do you mean, Rye? What, what shirt? Mandy. Uh, Mandy, go bake some cookies. Uh, do something constructive. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else? Um, now he's calling me. Hello. Yeah, they're all over the place. It's all at the, you know, at the bank now. Yeah, there, there's five, there's five rolls sitting right on my desk. On your desk, scotch tape. Yes. I see it. Is there a dispenser? Yeah, there should be a dispenser down there. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye -bye. So Tim is down there painting. Everybody's complaining about something. Okay, we just got a Vin. Vinny just ordered. What did he order? The one and two set. Oh, that we don't have. What? Why do you say so? That doesn't make sense. Cars and coffee. V Jeffrey Goodwin. <clears throat> Somebody bought a double samurais. I'm telling you, if you don't buy those Samurais, buy one, get one free, you are really um, losing out on a great deal. I got my order today. Man, that was fast. Well, we try to be fast. I mean, we're not great, but we're pretty good. And um, so I'm growing my hair out. I'm going to grow out about like this, and then I'm going to get a perm, and so it's going to be kind of crazy looking. So I'm going to be the crazy professor. So um, that's what they want me to do. So... My appearance is going to change. I'm going to be getting uh, round glasses to kind of look like Professor Tinker. Um, I know it's stupid, but, you know, that's the persona that I have to uh, keep. I can't grow mustaches, so I'm just going to paint one right here like Groucho Marx did. So um, everybody can... <clears throat> <clears throat> you're not, uh, you're not permitting your, uh, permitting your, yeah, I am. I'm going to perm my hair. You're going to perm it, Mandy. You're going to give me a perm. <clears throat> it will look like an old lady. That's what it's supposed to look like. I don't, I, uh, you don't dare perm it. I am going to perm it. You'll look like an old lady. I know that's the whole point, Mandy. Good grief. Your wife really needs some, <laughs> So I'm going to get a nice big perm, not a, not a deep perm, but kind of a, a scruffy perm. You know what I'm saying? I was going to go get a haircut, um, you know, so I got to decide whether to get a crew cut again or let this grow out and just be all crazy how everyone's doing. I, and we're all doing fine, AJ. I've got to go on a road trip. So I'm leaving at mid at noon. So I was just going to do a quick uh, video update. Uh, round two has got the Star Wars license, and they're also coming out with a Blues Brothers. Blues Brothers, uh, just don't do your hair like how you used to have it during the Shed podcast. What do you mean, Shed podcast? Everyone who is happy with their order, please leave a review. Oh, brother. It's 2021. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. So, um, it's the deal. Uh, <clears throat> I just got confirmation 
that um, I'll give you an update that these cars now are in production. They went to the factory, my Black Bel Air. Tell that's Tracky B, I'll be getting that on the website today too. That's the Black Bel Air, the red uh, cor uh, Batmobile. The Blue Nomad. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the Black Nomad. Yeah. The Blue Nomad and the creme de la crop, which I think is going to be the most, this is what I'm feeling, is this is going to be the most popular of all of them. This right here. I'm working on it. So, those are the... Those are the cars. I, I uh, they were called me. Uh, um, they called me today, or uh, Ch uh, Craig sent me an email saying that they are going to send. Uh, are the are the images okay to send to the factory? So these are going to the factory, and now they're just going to go in production. But the more I look at this car, right? The more I look at this vehicle. Okay. The more I look at this vehicle, I, I think this thing is going, everybody's going to want this. Why orange? Why orange? Um, well, I had my, okay, that's a good question. Why orange? When I had Professor Tinker's, I made the the store, Professor Tinker's Workshop, it was kind of this off orange color, the, the original building, okay, because I had these girder and pan, I made a mock-up. Whenever I do a building, I make a mock-up of it in my mind. And I made this mock-up so that people could know, okay, well, this is how I want it painted. And I had these panels that were from girder and panel, and I, and I literally reproduced those panels on the side of the store and it was like an orange color uh, orange is blue blue orange with blue windows and that's where the, that orange kind of just stuck in my head and so when i was thinking orange i just said you know what orange you know that something different rustic looking you know that um you know i've driven this thing into the dirt and driving and finding toys and it's the orange in the in the logo. And there's a little orange in the logo, too. So, <clears throat> so um, that is the car that I think is going to be the most popular. I think everybody on Earth is going to want that. I don't know why. Looks pretty cool to me. That's the one I'm the most nervous on. Mm. I hope I'll be eating my words. Uh, well... The cars and coffee, the car that's most popular is that stupid uh, AMX or uh, <coughs> American Motors uh, AMX car. That thing's uglier than, I mean, it was an ugly car, but it was a fast car. American Motors made some fast cars back in the 60s. What else? What else news here? There's no way... Ryan, that truck will be the number one seller, Adam Hurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think so. I got two months till I meet him. Ken Fish. I don't know who's that. I should uh, I should get that truck when it launch at launch. You should. Well, I'm telling you, when these things I let me just give you guys a prediction, okay? Um when these things are are uh, released they're going to sell out within the first day don't try to wait We've, I've been having people call because we're already sold out of the cars and coffee and people don't realize well we're getting more cars and coffee I, mean, I could get more right now they got plenty I got more coming I think no I don't have any more coming. you don't you don't have any more as far as I know.
other than that, uh, the truck is four gear. Yes, it is a four gear truck. And uh, let's see, what else? Um, uh, the next four cars, uh, I've got the list of the next, well, actually, the next five cars that we're going to do. But I can't tell you those right now. I'll give you one teaser. Okay, one teaser. And... Um, Sixty-nine or a, El, a sixty-nine El Camino. We're gonna do a sixty-nine El Camino. Brian, is Tim? Uh, yes, yes. No, I don't give him bread and water. Brian, answer Joseph. Let's see, Joseph, can you explain why this truck is? Question. I missed it, Brian. Can you explain this truck? Uh, okay. Can you explain the truck? So, so. We are doing exclusives, all right? Uh, I know first Christmas present. Uh, I, yeah, okay, I can't read and then tell you. All right, so we're doing exclusives, and this is one of the exclusives that we're doing. This is the Ford F100, 1957 Ford F100. I think that's what it is. Yeah, 1956 Ford F100. All right, and this is basically uh, Pro Tinker Toys' truck. So if I could find a 56 Ford and paint it like this one of these days. Oh, that'd be sweet. Wouldn't that be sweet? <laughs> oh, We're doing it. 1956 Ford with pipes on it, too. It had to have pipes on it, too. So we're doing all these exclusives, and this is a design that I came up with. I just thought, you know, well, I didn't come up with Auto World. I gave him an idea. I said, hey, I want it to look like this. Our logo on both sides. I want Betsy Ross flag on the tr on the hood or on the, the truck bed uh, can't cover, and I want it to look kind of rustic, okay? So that's why we are doing the, um, the Ford truck. Now the Nomads, the Nomads are basically replicas or exact duplicates of the uh, Bel Airs that we did, because the Nomad is really a Bel Air but turned into a station wagon. I mean, in, in reality, I mean, we can d debate that if you want to, but I'll win the debate. All right, so that's the Black Nomad. And then we have the uh, the Blurple, which is a blue-purple uh, with the red flame. But this is all yellow, the yellow flames on this one. This one's never been done like this. Neither one of these have been done like this, except I'm doing them. Because I'm committed to getting slack cars to everybody. And then we're doing the Red Batmobile. Why the Red Batmobile, would you say? Well, because Tim and I, Tim did some research, and we found out um, <clears throat> uh, we found out that the, the there was a comic, couple comic book issues that had the Red Batmobile. Um, uh, blurple, uh, blurple color created by Brian Young. Of course, I create everything. And so we found out that they came out with a red bat, but the red Batmobile, before it was the Batmobile, this Ford Futura was in a movie with Glenn Ford, and it was a red Futura. And we thought, well, that'd be kind of a cool connect, connecting to the comic book red Batmobile and the Ford Futura, which this car was the Ford Futura in the 1950s. It was a prototype car. And it looked almost similar to this. And, and so he had the image, and that's why we're coming out with this type of car. Okay? We're trying to do things that are, that are out of the realm. Okay? And so over the next couple of years, that's what my goal is, to constantly um, uh, uh, No, you won't see the red Batmobile in the series. But there was a, a red Batmobile in one of the comic books in the 1940s. And so we kind of merged that, that dystopian world of, okay, well, you know, there was a red Batmobile in the comic books in the 1930s. And, then and the there Japanese was. The Japanese did toy, they did a toy line that the Japanese did where they did different color Batmobiles and stuff. Oh, okay. Little toy lines. A toy lines. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of, kind of different. Yeah. Yeah. We might mm -hmm. do a green one next. 
We might do a green one, pink, blue, purple. We might do every color of the Batmobile because the Batmobile or the Bat Batman series, okay, on TV was a very colorful, colorful, a very colorful series. They they loved color. They I'd like because to do a purple one. because they that was when color was first coming out into television, and and so you know some people had black and white, but a lot of people had color. Same thing with. Lost in Space started out black and white, but then the third season, they went to color, which changed everything. Color changes a lot of things. And I don't think, I think certain series, you shouldn't use color. For example, crime shows, I don't think you should use color. I think a crime show should all be black and white. And I think that'd be interesting if they would start filming crime shows in black and white, because I think that would be a, a, a new twist of um, producing a show in, in, in black and white. Now, you can use color here and there, but I don't think, I don't think you should use, I don't think you should show blood in, col in red. I think it should be a neutral, a black and white. That's just my opinion. Okay, should I paint my set guardrails gray instead of the orange and red? Well, you can do that, but you know what? There are some red guardrails and there's some gray guardrails. It all depends on where you're going. Um, so, um, you know, you can uh, <clears throat> have fun there, AJ. I sent out your hand throttles, AJ, a couple days ago, which you watched me on Tuesday. You should be getting those soon. Now, you'll need some a soldering iron. You'll need some crimpers because you need to crimp the ones that you have. Brian, okay, Brian, you got my name wrong. Or Adam, you got my name wrong. It's Brian with a Y, B-R-Y-A-N-Y-O-U-N-G. Okay, so let's get that fixed. Uh, Adam, send me a new text because I'm not going to read that. Because that's wrong. The Untouchables with uh, Robert Stack. Let's see. Brian. One of those guys, man, Brian just posted. What do you mean? What cars did you just post on Instagram? Me, the police cars. Huh? America's Finest. Oh, they're available now, aren't they? Yeah, they're up. They're up now. We only have a limited number of those. We only have one. Three left. We have three sets left. Okay. What happened to the other two, set? Two available. Two cars individually, if you just want the car, and then one complete set available. This is all there is, is three. Well, how much are you selling those for? Thirty nine on sale. Oh, you need to put. You need to. You need to change the. Uh, did you change it? You need to put like uh, Ico on those cars. Yeah. What else do we have to say today? This could be a short video today. I'm going to do one on Saturday because I'm going to be outside in the shed working on that my layout. So, uh, I we got to film tomorrow. I really would like to. All right, I'll be here all day. So, we'll just film all day then. Like I want to get that wireless controller video. That sounds like an awesome video. Oh, you mean the Johnny Lightning conversion it to uh, yes. Auto World? Yeah, we could do that. Are you still working on the Arc Pro? Yes, I am. Uh, Daniel, I can't. I couldn't do anything to it because Daniel was laying the carpet. The carpet is laid down, and that's what I'm going to show tomorrow night and on Saturday. The carpet looks beautiful, guys. So, Lala, Lala boys, um, I can only do so much. Number one, we are running this store. Plus, I'm I'm, oh, I'm trying to get the layout set up. Plus, I'm trying to add new items into the inventory. Plus, I've got to go on a road trip today. Uh, I'm trying to do so many things, um, but you know what? I'm here for you, you know? We only have... Hey, always remember, when you're watching this video, and if you're watching the video more than five minutes, well, actually, ten minutes. If you've watched more than ten minutes of this show, okay? Aw, uh, A-W. What, what do you mean, Steve? A-W. Hey, Steve, did you get my thing about the cars and everything, about deal I was going to give you? a and -F. Tim, did you get my message about the art job? Okay, uh, Brian, uh, there are some cars uh, that look like Silicon Base 3 and 1 oil. Is that good? But yes, I watched every second. Well, if you watch 15 minutes or more, you should be clicking the notification and giving us thumbs up because right now we have 14 thumbs up only 14 thumbs up all right i should have 26 26 thumbs up you know what i always thought these were when i was a kid i used to draw them too i used to draw this as a spaceship 
Okay, like this is the command module right here. And this is kind of... And there was... A, and then I noticed about years later in National Lampoons, they had actually taken a, a drawing of a pen and made it into like a ship. I used to draw these giant submarines that... When I was on submarines, I made these uh, submarines that were... I'd like to make a toy out of one that they basically would lift out of the ocean. They had giant treads. They could they could go along the... <laughs> I tell you, never mind. Okay, so this is Auto World. I'm going to have a, uh, a conversation with Auto World on my way down on my road trip. <clears throat> what else do I have to say today? Most of the model kits are up and uh, listed. Um, uh, we got plenty, uh, we got restocks of Legends of the Quarter Mile. We have, uh, um, we got plenty of restocks of those. We have every set that Auto World makes right now. I'm the only one that has all of them. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm the one that has the most of all of them. Uh, Tim is in the shed painting. Yes, he is. He is, Tim is in the shed painting. He is painting. Yes, he is. And I am just sitting here killing time because I have to run or leave at, well, 12 or 11.45. I'm going to head out of here um, to get going. It takes takes me. I gotta, I'm going to take Lincoln. I'm going to take David and Frankie with me on my road trip. And uh, so um, um, that's what's going to happen. Um, and... Uh, when I get back tomorrow night, we're going to go. My my daughter-in-law is going to make me dinner tomorrow night. My favorite dinner. You know what my favorite dinner is? And my daughter-in-law is going to make me a dinner. We're all going to go over to her house tomorrow night. And you know what that dinner is? You know what my favorite dinner of all time is? Does anybody, does anybody have any idea what, uh, what my favorite dinner of all time is? I'll let people think and guess about what that is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ham hocks, <laughs> hot dogs, chicken sandwiches, <laughs> cube steaks, and mashed potatoes, steak. Yes, my favorite meal is steak. And so I've got some New York strips, and we're going to bring this New York strips over to Mandy's house tomorrow night. We're going to leave probably around 5 o'clock, and we're going to have, uh, we're gonna have uh, New York strips. We're going to have some mashed potatoes and corn and we're just gonna have a fun meal at mandy's and this is the first time i've never eaten over at my daughter-in-law's house uh because we've never been invited <laughs> so we're gonna go over to their house tomorrow night and have dinner um she doesn't know that yet but <laughs> we're gonna show up i'm just gonna show up you know that? Just show up. What do you think, Ryan? Think I should just show up? I think it's a great idea. So we're gonna leave around five, and we're gonna br come bring with a bunch of steaks. I go to my local uh, live stream at Ryan's house. Yes, that's a great idea, Adam. Live fresh deer steak. You know, so I called up Belleville Meat Market. This was last year, and I was calling. I called. Up, I I used my I, when I had my old uh, Google phone. I said, Hey. Okay, Google, call Belleville Meat Market. And I thought that I had called Belleville Meat Market in Bowling Green, Ohio. Well, I did not. And so anyways, I got to Belleville Meat Market in Bowling Green. I said, where's, uh, I said, uh, pick it up my order, Brian Young. And they go, we don't have any order for you. And I go, well, I, I look, I said, I called you about an hour or two hours ago. And they go, no, we didn't get any calls. So I looked at my phone and I had called Belleville Meat Market in Texas. And so I called them. I said, listen, guys, I made a mistake. Uh, I thought you were Belleville Meat Market in Bowling Green, Ohio, and uh, I need to cancel my order because there's no way I'm coming to get it because I'm not in Texas. I'm in Ohio. Um, so that's where I get my meat, Belleville Brothers. They've been there for over 100 years selling beef. Costco has good meat. Now, I wouldn't buy meat from a grocery store anymore. Don't ever buy meat from a grocery store. Buy it from a a, a meat packer. Belleville Meat Market. Local beef. You know why? It's all local beef. They 
they, they, they cut it locally and everything. You know it's fresh and everything. Um, that's where I get my hamburger, my New York strips. I buy a half a cow, actually, a quarter of a cow. I get too many of the bo pin bones, I think they're called. Pin I don't know what the heck a pin bone is. But um, I do like fried chicken, but it has to be done southern fried. You know, really good fried chicken with mashed potatoes and corn and a nice salad, a nice fluffy salad with, 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 uh, col uh, with, with uh, croutons and, and uh, uh, most meat packers don't carry prime beef. Well, ours, our, our, our pack, our packers carry, carry good beef, not prime beef, but good beef. Uh, August or uh, Augustus, is that what it's called? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. That's why I like to go to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. When you go to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, when you get the steak, it's on a platter that's, that's 500 degrees. So we're going to go to Mandy's, okay? We're going to go to Ryan's house tomorrow night for dinner. Uh, I'm gonna, we're just going to surprise her. She'll love it, you know, and um, she'll probably kick me out. But you're making me hungry. Well, you know, New York Roos Chris, their, their steaks, they, the plate, when they come out, they're on a plate that's 500 degrees. So for the next five minutes, the, the steak is still cooking, okay? And so... Those real quick. You take the camera with you. What the heck? Oh, I forgot. I didn't pull this right. See, I don't ever look at the quantities. That's my biggest problem. I look at the quantities, but they're always ones in my mind. And that's because my mind is is very big. I have a very big mind. That's because I mind my mind. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. -y. I'm a legend in my own mind. This is the most popular uh, Tyco car I have. Oh, no, you're right. Ruth Crisp is the only place to go for a steak. I, I totally agree. That that food is just... is. Every time we go to Myrtle Beach, we go to Ruth's Crisp. I mean, when the plates come off and it's 500 degrees, plus the salad wedge, oh, my goodness. They take a, wet, a salad... The, leaf lettuce they cut it in half and they put this thousand island that is just you know see i'm not a big egg i don't like eggs a lot i'm not an egg guy raw egg or not raw cooked eggs like egg salad sandwich i've never been an egg salad sandwich guy but they cook they put cooked eggs they, they chop it and everything and put it in the in the in the uh, thousand island salad and everything they drip it on top and they got croutons and they cut up cucumbers i love cucumbers cut up into little 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 small pieces and they push, sprinkle it on top with the croutons and then dice up tomatoes and everything. Ooh. And then their, their fries, they give you a big batch of fries, huge batch of fries. Oh, boy. Oh, oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, you can't miss Roos Chris steak. Mmm, mmm, good. Mmm, good. Good cracker. Good cracker. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yep, yep, and yep. <clears throat> so that is, um, so that's what we're going to do tomorrow night. We're going to go to Mandy's. Ryan's, really. We're going to go to Ryan's. We've never been invited over to his house, um, which is kind of odd. I've always wondered. My son never invites me over to his house, but my son Lincoln always invites us over. Actually, they wanted us to come over this weekend, but I just can't get up there this weekend. If I went up there this weekend, I would, get, oh my goodness, I couldn't get anything done. So, so, well, we just got another order. What did they buy? Let's see. Uh, let's see. What did they buy? Auto World Terminal Track, Brittany. Roots Crips has prime rib. What? I don't have ten. There, you can. It's the bulk one, so you can grab some of the ones with the white lines. Are you sure? Positive. 
I put it in the notes that you will receive so much white wine. Well, then I'll send him all white lines ones. I've got all these track. I got all these. Uh, um, I got all these straight tracks that have lines in them, and some guys don't want the lines in them. So, I'm going to give him twenty with lines in them. I'm going to set this right here as I count out twenty straights. So I have all these nice straights. Two, four, let's see. I, I ordered a thousand straight tracks because I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to be making these uh, really cool mini sets. I'm going to call them mini sets. And, um, they're going to be with cars that I have lots of. I'm going to just create mini sets, little tiny sets. Mini, I call them mini sets. Okay, so these are the straight tracks. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Well, I don't have... Two, four, six, eight, ten. Now I don't have any straight tracks. All righty, well, that's done. Where is the packing slip? Did I leave it over here? <laughs> I wish Auto World would, could make a four-lane intersection so that we can make a four-lane figure eight. Well, you know what? You can't, you can't make everything, okay? A four-lane intersection is, is not... Um, I don't know if that's the greatest piece of track to make, but that's, I mean, I could, I mean, you know, when we get bigger, you know, I could request a four lane intersection. Okay. Let's get the four lane terminal track done first. Then we will work on a four lane intersection. How's that sound? All right. So what else? Um, I had uh, this Jason guy, man, he bought, holy cow. Oh, good. So we can pack this whole order into one box. So this guy ordered, he ordered an expansion track. He ordered an adrenaline cup. He ordered a generic um, race set plus straight track plus changeover tracks. <laughs> Plus standard curves, boy, he's going to build a huge track. I mean, tr a track that is going, and we're going to pack this baby all together on Friday. I'm going to pack this on Friday. Man, this is going to be huge. I'm glad he said that I can. I'm not concerned about the ice coming in the original packing. If that makes shipping easier. Yes, it will. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to send him a note. Yes, it will. Yes, it will will thanks so much will send a free car for being so kind brian the big guy Let's see, Brian, uh, let's see, I'm going to make a new title for myself. Okay, so Brian, the big guy, comma, the man in charge, number one, number one, there we go.
How does that sound? That sound pretty good there. Best customer service around. Look at that. So I'm going to send that to him uh, and um, I'll pack his order up tomorrow because I'm out of one of my uh, Kuda! 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 I had a 1967 Slant 6 Kuda, baby. That was the funnest car I ever had. Barracuda! A 1967 Slant 6. Barracuda! Show the different dinosaur sets. That's a good idea. All right, so these are the different dinosaur sets that we have. These are a crustacean period. And there's basically two sets. And there are 24 dinosaurs. You get a whole collection of dinosaurs. Okay? I mean, these are really cool toys. I mean... I hear I carry a lot of stuff, you know. I don't just carry uh, uh, just slot cards, but we have these. These are your complete sets, and then these are your digging sets, like these, uh, you know, if, uh, excavation kits. You can dig them out of their of the little uh, little dinosaur. These are all the bones that you'll find. Look at that, isn't that cool? And then this one's a really good one. Thirty skeletons, okay. And then this one here, a rep, uh, just a regular single, look at that, $4.99. Come on, people. Come on, man. Come on. Then you got the big dinosaurs. Rawr, rawr. And then we have more of the uh, dinosaur sets. These are small dinosaur sets. This is a, and they're all articulated. They're all articulated. This got uh, T Rex. Yeah, come and get me. Yeah. With your short arms, boy, you must have been real easy to kill after the flood. Because there were, uh, I, I don't want to be too controversial to everybody, but there were dinosaurs on the flood uh, ark. Just, I don't want to make two things complicated, but anyway, that I'll just make, I'll leave it at that. Okay, so you got this set here, you got this set here, and then we got these, these just, these are all plush. These are soft dinosaurs. See how how they they're. They're soft and everything. Then we have a whole assortment of them down here, the, the little tiny ones. And these are like $4.99. Come on, man. Come on, man. Look at all these dinosaurs. I got more dinosaurs than I know what to do. Get yourself a whole, get your kids a whole set of dinosaurs. Whole set of dinosaurs. Then then get him a, a Nerf or a, a Galactic Ranger gun and have him shoot the dinosaurs around the house. You know, have a game, play them and everything, or buy some tanks. I got tanks here, motorized tanks. I bought these motorized tanks. These are listed, these motorized tanks, but the packages came damaged. So I'd like to sell them at premium, but I can't because the packages. But these are motorized tanks. Now, they don't shoot anything, but they're motorized. Pretty cool. And then I got these RCs, these mini RC cars. Mini RC cars right here, mini RC cars. And then these little mini RC cars right here. These are fun, like 12 bucks. Look, look at him. Good. So happy. Yes. And then we got these little dino, our little animal sets, farm animals. Okay. Got Mr. Pig, Mr. Rooster, Mr. Lamb, and, and uh, an orange ostrich. And then you got animal set here, and an animal set there, and animal set birds. These are all birds, cockatoos, and pelicans. Then you got a sloth right here. You got a bear, a camel. Koala bear. We got everything. I mean, these are great for girls. These are little plush pillows. And I'm telling you, they are soft. So when a girl goes to bed and he has one of these little things, these giant pig, 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 pigs. Then you got this right here. These are cute. These are my favorite right here. This one right here. This little raccoon. Look at his little face. Oh, he's so sleep, sleepy. Then my favorite original tin bird, you wind this baby up and he flies around the house. Then our swords, we got plenty of swords. I got more toys I don't know what to do with. Then these are my collection. This is part of my collection. I have these Star Wars drop ships, attack shuttles. Yes, sir, Bob. Then we got policemen, little policemen figures. These are cool. Like you, huh? I think that label's gonna have to be reprinted. Why? Five pounds. Because it's got two track packs. Two pounds? Five pounds. 
Five pounds, gotta redo that label. Yeah, just, just punch the tape. Uh, Alrighty, I gotta do a label here. Well, I'm gonna be uh, signing off here pretty soon. Are you leaving soon? Uh, it's almost time. Holy smokes. Time flies when you're having fun. Time flies when you're having fun. Brian, okay, wait, 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 wait. Greg Goodman. Brian, Brian, I got your 55 print yesterday. Didn't remove from tube. Want a mat and frame before making it out, taking it out. I want to go do the same with your Peugeot print. Could you please sign it and uh, to Scotty G. Thank you again. 55, make your... Man, okay, we got to sign that print there. Tim's got to sign it. I got to sign it. Where? Which one? This one right here, the one I'm redoing the label on. Oh. Shoot. Yes, there is. Sorry. He'll get mad if we don't sign it. It's all about customer service, Ryan. I know you don't like that, but it's all about customer service, Budzo. Uh, and Tim will probably have to come up and sign it. I'll sign it before I leave. Brian Young, ProTinkerToys.com, ProTinkerToys.com. Don't forget like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. How can I help? Hey, what's up there? This is uh, David here in Pittsburgh. I had made an order for a set of uh, cars and coffee yesterday, and um, you asked me to send a, uh, an email with uh, a couple of picture of a couple of trucks. Hello. Just Hold on. To see if you got the email. Hold on. Yeah, I got them, and I... Oh? How do you do that? Don't answer the phone. Well, where'd, the phone. You the, where'd you send the email to? We got it. I replied, too. Well, I didn't get a picture of them. Well, that's not my fault. You I know. send you... Profess Tinker a Gmail? What was your name? I sent a reply. I said thank you for the David, picture. David, David awesome. Harry 100? No, that's not it. Dave Man 50. Uh, let's see. I don't see that. Dirt. Let's see. Dirty Harry. What's your last? What's your last? Da oh, right here. Oh, the Auto World trucks. Okay. AFX Express. Yes. Yes. I see. Okay, cool. Yes, that is neat. Yeah, that is a good idea. Maybe we'll look into that. But we're going to do some more, though. That's for sure. Those are going to come next year, I have a feeling. Tim? Nope. All right. Oh. Yeah, I did. Yep, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> I think he's in the back. Oh, is that for us? Uh-oh. For everybody. Oh, well, it's for me, really. I have to ah. test everything. Apple so, cinnamon coffee cake. Oh, no. That's coffee cake? Yes. Uh-oh. Okay, so Brian's wife just brought us an uh, apple cinnamon coffee cake. Okay, so... Um, oh, no. That's dangerous. Just before I'm going to leave here. <laughs> Tell Tim there's a coffee cake here from Brian's wife. Oh, okay, so this is an apple cinnamon coffee cake. She's trying to fatten me up. <laughs> oh, mm, oh my goodness. Mm. Oh man, there's cinnamon in that. Uh, mm. Thank you so much. Did you get your son picked up yesterday? Yes. All right, good. Oh, man, she didn't skip the apples on this baby. That's the way they make it. There's a, a Food Network recipe. Mm. She added twice as many apples. Yeah, I can see that. Boy, is it good. <laughs> apples. Apples, 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 baby. Mm. I got to have some more. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, 
Oh, wow, that's the worst one ever. So, uh, um, so that's a um, apple cinnamon. Apple cinnamon. Man, that cinnamon is just caked in there. Oh, my goodness. And it's crispy, too. Check that out. I have four minutes to hit the road. Yes, sir, I do. I gotta turn the car on. I gotta print that label. I gotta finish eating. Where are my keys? Here, you need to take this out so I can sign it. Where's that one order? What order? I don't see the Italian pool. What? I told him it's Chef. It's the F1 cars. The guy you were talking to on the phone. F1 cars? Yeah. What are you talking about? You didn't pull any of this stuff. Hey, you don't got that? What I don't have because I'm missing a car and I'm going to see if she's got one of them down there. I got the other three. You don't have that pool? Where's that? I don't have that because I don't have one of the items. I'm going to go down there and get that. Can't do that. He's telling me if things aren't my problem, they'll have his problem. I got to turn on my car. Then I'll say goodbye. I'll sing my song to you. Where are my keys? Right here in my pocket. All right, get that car going. This one right here. Um, I don't have those. I don't have those cars yet. They're not coming out till next week. Okay, well I gotta call them back. And tell them. Hey, and then what am I doing with Chris Wilbury this order too? You got it partially fulfilled. Did you, did you send them three cars? Did you send them because you said these were the same car? What do I need to do? Fund something? What do I need to do? I don't have, they're the same car. That car is exactly the same as that car. Okay, did you send two of these then? No. Why wouldn't you have done that? I didn't send two of these because I didn't know if he knew that and if he wanted to. We could send him another one of these, okay? So refund this one. I'm refunding this, right? No, or you could send another one of these yellow ones. They're the same car. I don't know why I have. I got to find out from Kim why they're two different numbers. So what am I doing with this order? Refunding it or sending him a new one? Sending him a new one. Is that Chris? Yeah. Which I gotta show you all his stuff too. He's been doing a bunch of Well then just send him, tell him it's Chris that we we're gonna send you another one of these cars. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna have another bite of this coffee cake. Oh god. Mm. Oh, nothing better than a hot coffee cake, baby. <laughs> All right. I think I've done enough. I think that's a good enough. Uh, do you want me to leave that on for you, Ryan? No, I'm good. See, he doesn't. See, this is what's so funny, guys. You know, they talk a big game, but they, they don't have any. They don't have camera presence. See, I've got camera um, what do you call it? I've got a, 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 a aroma, a orma, a, a aura about a camera. See, I've been on camera all my life. I, I've been on, I did f almost 10 
um, talent shows when I was in high school. I could do every president. I would, I would do uh, D uh, Doctor Strange Love. Um, I, I, I and I won over maybe four or five hundred dollars in 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 uh, talent shows when I was in high school. I didn't care what people thought of me. I just wanted to, I just wanted to make people laugh. And um, it was it was funny. Uh, but you know, some people are are pre cautious. They're appear. Who cares? All right. Adios. Thank you for watching today. I hope you got some information. We got most of the stuff shipped out today. And we will see you tomorrow for sure. And I might even do a live thing coming back from where I'm going, okay? Because I've got my camera with me. So I might do a live, all right? I'm not going to promise, but you might see a live, okay? Have On a safe road. drive. On the road. That'd be On good. the road, yep. Bye-bye.